What is up you guys? It's Adana back with another video for you guys. So I know I've been getting a lot of questions you guys about like how do I pay for PA school? You know, how did I pay for PA school? How do people in general pay for PA school? And I keep telling you guys, you know, you gotta get out. You gotta get a loan. Um, or you save up a lot of money and you go to a really inexpensive PA school and you just pay it out of pocket. Um, because PA school is expensive. Um, the bottom line is that on average your private education PA school is about $90,000 and your public out-of-state education school is about $80,000. So that's a lot of coins that you're gonna have to shed out. Obviously there's a reason I would say that you know some schools are so expensive and you know you want to be able to be as well informed as you can and make the best decision for you and your pockets. So we are gonna be talking about why PA school is so expensive, why medical education in general is so expensive and what you can do to kind of come at that okay so let's get in the video right now hey what's up you guys so I talked about you know the expensive medical education PA education and med school is hecka expensive okay on average med school uh, education will cost you over two hundred thousand um, dollars in terms of debt that you will come out with um, as opposed to your like ninety thousand maybe a hundred and fifty thousand depending on the program obviously of debt you'll come out with in PA school but we're talking about an average and so why is that right why is medical education so expensive when all I want to do is save some lives right all I I want to do is go on and be a provider so the golden question of me just wanting to save lives and why I have to spend so much money to make that happen is partially due because of supply and demand okay so let's go way back into like your high school undergraduate years where you learned about economics and you learned about supply and demand so supply and demand says that if the demand for services and goods increase then and the supply is low then the price will follow right the price will also increase so it's the same with PA school you guys have seen like all of these like we're number one I've been talking about it in the number one job by US News so the PA profession is number one Right now, I think we're like number three or so. We're like the number three um, top job in the US. Maybe number two, I have to look at that again. But uh, there has been quite a huge push and demand for APPs like PAs and nurse practitioners um, in the past few years in terms of what it costs to go to these schools versus what you the benefits that you'll reap right but the demand is high now with the demand being high um, we have to look at the supply is the supply low well for PA school it is although we're looking at PA programs and we're like dang there's new PA programs popping up every single year and there's over 300 programs right now on average your PA program is only allowing 40 students into a class okay so yes 40 students even if we look at it conversely to a med school where you want to say med school takes four years PA school takes two years or 27 months even if you go four years that's 80 students being admitted each class so the supply is still very low and therefore the price is going to increase so that is one reason why PA school is expensive because supply is low demand is high and therefore we have to increase that price to to accommodate now I know some of you are like I don't know like oh, what the freak ever like I don't believe that this is just a money grab like they're just trying to milk you suckers for all the money that you have um, and maybe there are some programs that are looking at this and they're like man like this is this is a market that that we haven't tapped into and for sure we need some extra funds coming into our university so let's start a PA program but even in that process it takes money okay and it takes money to start a program and keep a program running so let's look at that right let's look at just the instructional cost of um, you know starting a PA program you're gonna be doing all this research and pumping all this money into building the facility and to getting cadavers and to keeping the 
the cadavers up. Like you may have to pull in cadavers right every year after a new class has gone through their anatomy and dissected through these cadavers. You're you're pulling in another set of cadavers at minimum four, right? If depending on the, the class size for you to actually have your students be able to understand what the human body looks like uh, on the inside. You're paying for all of these different um, resources in terms of like learning how to read an MRI or a CT. You're paying for ultrasound machines. You know, you're paying for otoscopes and ophthalmoscopes and blood pressure cuffs. Uh, you're doing all of these various different things because it costs to run a PA program. And so we have to look at that. You have to look at the activities that the schools may go on. You have to look at affiliation agreements. You have to look at if they have to pay their preceptors. All of these things cost money. And now I'm not trying to give PA schools and medical schools and you know this education a pass in that, okay, like, yeah, all right, it costs, so you guys are gonna charge us more money to kind of pay for your professors and all of that stuff um, and pay for activities and our education education just in general because it, it's a give and take. Um, no, I'm not doing that because I am still of, of, of the camp of why. I myself left PA school with over $80,000 worth in debt and I'm like, dang, that's a lot of money. But what is the payoff, right? You know, and that's something that you really have to look at. Uh, another thing I just kind of want to put into your mind, another economic uh, just kind of class for you is that the idea of inflation. So we talked about supply and demand. We talked about just instructional costs. And now I'm going to touch on inflation. Uh, so inflation is simply the progressive increase of price for services and goods over time. And now obviously with inflation that decreases the purchasing power of money and it does a whole lot to destabilizing economies. And we can go into a whole nother conversation about inflation. I know if any of you are into stocks, you are well aware of inflation because inflation is pummeling the stock market right now. Um, but it not only addresses that, right? Inflation also affects how, how, like what we eat, what we pay for, what we eat, what we pay for our houses that we're trying to buy, what we pay for our education, essentially all aspects of our lives. So what does inflation do to our education and the cost of education? Well, let's look back, you know, to 1967. Let's say on average, PA school really costs $10,000, okay? Okay. For your full education, you were going to PA school for 10 grand. Well, if you take that same 10,000 from 1967 and you take it through inflation over the course of these last years to 2022, you will be paying over $80,000 worth of money for PA school, for your PA school education. Now, that's a lot of money and inflation does that to the economy and does that to our edu education. And if you look at the average cost of PA school, it's really right on par. So with that being said, what can you do to combat like inflation, supply and demand, just these absorbent co costs of PA school? Well, you can save. If you are interested in being a part of PA, the PA profession in general, and you know this way ahead of time, start saving your money now. You can also look at programs that don't cost that much. Uh, there are public programs that are in state that are either like through a community college or in conjunction with the community college that cost about $50,000 for your full education. $50,000 versus some of these schools that I've been researching that cost over $120,000. That is a huge save. So you can do that. You can also just look for scholarships, look for grants, and then obviously take out a loan as your last and final resort um, because you're gonna have to pay that money back. But at the end of the day, if you really wanna try to save money, I think the main thing for you to do is to do your research and look for schools that fit your price tag, whatever that may be. Okay, that is my little tidbit on why medical education and specifically PA education is so freaking expensive. If you guys have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't already done so, 
like this video, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and down the PA and on Instagram at GetThatCUniversity. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.